Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great and you are excited about the summer. Today it will be a short video, more practical than usual. We are going to unzip a couple of folders and then zip them back again. We are going to use Data Factory for this purpose and it's something that will certainly come up. At some point you will have to zip or unzip files using Data Factory, but nothing to worry about. Let me share the key points here. First, we are going to use the metadata activity on Data Factory in order to retrieve the file names of the zip files. Then we are going to use the for each activity and look through all the file names. So for each file name, we are going to use the copy activity to unzip the files. At the end, we are going to use the delete activity to delete the source data. Probably at this point, you have, you know, you don't need the source data anymore as you have already extracted the files. Let's take a look at the properties of the get metadata activity. First, we have to create a parameter with a file name and we have to, prov to provide the file extension. In our case, that would be star.zip. So we are going to retrieve all the file names of the zip files that we have in this container. Another thing we have to do here is to set up the field list. And here, as an argument, we have to provide the child items. So that will give back a list of subfolders and files inside the given folder, applicable to the folder object only. The output value is a list of name and type for each child item. In the for each activity, we are going to use the output of the get metadata activity. We are going to iterate through the child items. Of course, for each child item, we have to use the copy activity in order to unzip the files. The key point here is to select the compression type. In our case, it's zip deflate. So that would be for the zip files. But you can use other compression types as well, gzip, deflate, tar, etc., etc. There are many options there. And we also have to select the compression level. We have two choices here, optimal and fastest. I recommend using the optimal because we're going to make sure that our zip files got extracted the right way. Moving on to Azure, I have created three containers in a blob storage. I have the input container here, which contains two zip files and each zip file contains a txt file, very simple. In the output container, we are going to place the extracted folders with the txt files inside. And in the zip container, we are going to zip the folders again from the output container and zip them back again because I want to display the whole process of you know zipping and unzipping folders. In Data Factory, let's create a new pipeline and drag and drop a metadata activity. Meta, get metadata activity. Here we are. Under settings, we have to select the data set. We have to create a new data set that points to Azure Blob Storage. Let's use binary. You can use CSV as well. Let's call this input link service. I have already created a link service and the file path will point to the input container, right? Now, again, let's open the data set. Let's create a parameter called file name and under connections, use it here. Open the pipeline expression builder, click on file name. And I think we are good to go. Actually, no, we have to choose the compression type here and use zip deflate.zip and compression level optima. Right now, we have a good data set that points to the input container and it's going to extract to unzip the files, the zip files. Back to our pipeline here in the get metadata activity, we have to provide the file name. So here, because it's a get metadata activity and it's going to retrieve only the file names of the zip files. So we have to provide star.zip and this is going to get all the file names. Let's create new field uh, list and under arguments, click on child items and the metadata activity is done. Now let me use a for each activity here, drag and drop this to the canvas and 
just drag the um, green arrow here under settings in the items click add dynamic content open the expression builder again and we want the get metadata child items click ok and in the inside the for each loop now we have to create the copy activity and the delete activity click on the pencil here and let's drag and drop the copy activity the copy activity as a source will have the input data set right but this time we are going to provide as a parameter as a you know as value in the file name parameter we are going to provide the file name the zip file name and you can do that by using click on the add dynamic content and for each item in the for loop we want the name very simple right here we have the name we use recursively now this option here preserve preserve zip file name as folder this is not very practical i thought uh, firstly i thought it was cool but then you realize that it's going to copy the data and the new folder will be named as you know like the file name dot zip so you will have a folder which uh, has dot zip as a name and you don't want to, to do that apparently at least in most cases right so i untick this box here and under sync we have to create a new data set now this is very simple again azure blob storage we point to azure blob storage binary the same link service let's call this output container it's going to point to the output container and we don't need to provide anything else here click on ok let's open the data set again click on open and here let's pass a parameter that would be the folder name right and under directory click on add dynamic content and we are need we need to use the folder name the folder name parameter because we want to unzip the folders into you know and have the same folder name as the zip folder but without the zip extension i will show you in a bit you will understand click on ok and then back to our pipeline here we need to provide a folder name so click on add dynamic content item dot name and that will give us the file name but with the dot zip extension right click on ok and back to the data set here instead of using only this folder name that has that includes the dot zip extension that we don't want we are going to use the split function and here click on folder name again and we are going to split it by dot and just get the first item in the array that would be only the folder name click on ok and back to pipeline so the next step we said at the end we're going to use a delete function in order to delete the source data because we are going to extract the data we don't need the zip files anymore they are going to you know uh, take uh, space uh, when you have a lot of data so click on the first data set the input data set that points to the input container as an item again the same we are going to provide the file name of the zip file and this activity is going to delete the zip files in the input container in the, the source data essentially now untick this enable logging we don't want logging right now and drag the green arrow to the delete activity i think our pipeline is ready i think we can start running our pipeline so click on the debug button I'm not going to publish anything else right now so our pipeline is running first we run the get metadata activity and for its file name it's going to perform the copy activity and then the delete activity in the for its activity you can also under settings you can also use to run the activities the inside activities sequentially or in parallel right now we don't care about running the activity sequentially it's up for you to decide what you have to do 
and here we copy the data and for its file name we unzip the folders and then we deleted the source folder so if we go back to our blob storage into the input container we shouldn't have anything yes because we deleted the source data in the output container we should have two folders now one called test which is the file name of the first zip file so if we click that here we will see the txt file that was unzipped right and the second folder with the same similar txt file now in the output folder as you can see we extracted we unzipped the files the zip files now we have to do the opposite we are going to zip those folders again and place them into the zipped container because we want to see you know how to zip and unzip it's actually very very similar back to data factory let's create a new pipeline and this time we are going to zip the folders again we can use get metadata activities apparently there are many ways to do the same thing but i think this is the easiest way and the most popular to be honest let's create a new data set to get the file names the folder names from the output container so point click a new data set pointing to the output container click on binary let's call this folder name and here in the link service provide the link service point to the output container and we don't want to pass any to create any parameters in this data set we only want to get the folder names again in the field list provide child items because in the for each activity we are going drag and drop the green arrow we are going to use the output of the get metadata activity that would be child child item so for it for each child item we are going to zip the data again drag and drop the copy activity under source we want to create a new data set um, and we need to provide the folder name for which you know in its iteration we need to provide the folder name otherwise you will get a zip file that would contain all the other you know the zip files that would that was in the container in the source container you don't want to do that you want to zip only you know file by uh, folder by folder and have the initial and create the initial zip files again click on new create a new data set pointing to azure blob storage click on binary let's call this folder name input folder click on your link service point to the output container the source container in this case that has two folders click on ok click ok here now we have to create a parameter called folder name actually because for each folder we have we want to zip each folder here under directory click on the folder name of this folder name parameter here back to our pipeline provide again we are going for each item in the loop just get the name item dot name perfect recursively this is what we want because if you don't use the recursive option it's not going to pick up the txt files inside the folders right and in the sync folder let's create a new data set pointing to the um, zip uh, container click on azure blob storage point to the zip container click on ok now open the data set and here of course we have to provide the file name so let's create a new parameter called file name and the connection here what we have to do is use the concat function to concatenate the file name uh, that we are getting from the folder so we are getting test as folder name so we have to provide the extension and that would be uh, we can do that by using the concat function and file name here and then 
dot zip. So we are going to provide the extension here. Compression type, that would be zip deflate as well. Optimal compression level. Back to our pipeline. Here we need to provide the file name, right? And that would be again the item dot name. And I think we are good to go. So if we run this pipeline, we should zip the folders with its respective TXT file. Let's run the pipeline and see if we missed something. Click on the debug and let's run it. And hopefully we will get the folders as zipped files. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed for each. Now we got the folder names for each folder name. We are going to zip them. This is running, so it's, I prefer this view here, the container view. It's copying the data. It finished. Let's check our container. And we have two zip files. Download the zip file to test that everything looks perfect. And it does. I think you cannot see my screen, but it does. Trust me. And this is how you unzip and zip folders or files, whatever you want. Apparently, it's nothing fancy. It's one of those practical you know, things you have to do as a data engineer. But I thought, you know, why not make a video? Maybe someone wants, you know, to see that. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you learned how to zip and unzip files using Data Factory. If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.